For much of Virginia, the derecho of June 29, 2012 is still the thunderstorm by which the rest are measured. Severe winds surged along a nearly 700-mile swath from northern Illinois through the Ohio Valley, over the Appalachians, and into the mid-Atlantic. Almost every part of Virginia felt its power that evening. The storm was not predicted well in advance, partly because other derechos in the past lost their punch when crossing the mountains. But extreme highs in the 100s ahead of the storm fueled lots of instability in the atmosphere. The line of storms charged east and southeast at 60 miles per hour. Parts of western and northern Virginia registered gusts upwards of 70 and 80 miles per hour. Officially, Richmond International Airport reported 59 miles per hour, but that was still enough to down many trees in our area. One third of Virginia lost power, and in some places it stayed out for more than a week during a heat wave where temperatures kept hitting the 100s. The wind itself and the falling trees led to five fatalities in the state, but several people also died as a result of the hot weather in the days that followed the storm. We called it the derecho, but really it was a derecho. That's the term for a type of continuous, long-lived, severe windstorm. They're most common across the Midwest during the summer and don't visit Central Virginia quite as often. But that one in 2012 was on another level, and it caused the meteorological term to become an overnight buzzword here. But a longer look at history shows that 2012 was not our first encounter with that type of storm here, and it won't be our last.